We're just going to run with it. Let's just go. Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to the Friday Night Live Stream. It's Ian K for Peep This Out Reviews, creating what I like to call high quality foodie features. And I have an absolute blast doing what I do in my little section of the YouTube universe here on the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me here live. If you're doing that right now, thank you. I appreciate you greatly. If you're catching this on the replay, definitely light up that comment section down below. Let me know what you're thinking of the stream as we go and anything that you'd like to see me improve upon, anything you'd like to see me review, I'd love to do that for you. There are plenty of playlists set up around the channel here right now, so you've got a lot to look at. Over a thousand pieces of content over six plus years here on the channel. So if you guys like what you see, definitely hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. And if you guys really love what you see and you'd like to contribute to the channel in some way, you'll find a multitude of ways to do that down below right now live or, or in the pinned comment that you'll see here on the replay. So without further ado, we are definitely gonna get into this review right now. And this is something that's actually been out for a minute that I haven't seen um, personally, me personally try, I should say. I haven't tried this personally. And this is something that I wanted to give a go for you right now. Oreo Thins Latte. Take a look at this, guys. I've never actually had the Oreo Thins period. And that's one of the reasons that I wanted to do this. And being that I love coffee, I absolutely wanted to do um, this variant of it here. I saw a few different ones that they had of this in the store, but I really wanted to give this one a shot. It looks pretty amazing right now. So naturally with Oreos, you need to have some milk. So I've got some almond milk and it's the regular style. So it's a little bit thicker. It's gonna be a little bit more like real milk, but let's just see if we can give this a go. This doesn't look like it has a pull tab, if anything here. Actually, well, wait a minute, actually it does. All right, you guys are gonna get the first look. Let's give this a shot right now. We'll go for that smell test in a second. Let me pull this back. Wow. This is the family size, as you can see. So it looks like we've got that nice chocolate goodness in there. Let's go for that aroma test. Oh, yeah. This smells like coffee. That is pretty amazing. Take a closer look at that there, guys. That is looking really, really nice. They are lined up beautifully right now. This was $4.49 on sale, actually. So it was like $5.49. It was like a dollar, dollar less um, but for what it is. But for the thins, I am very, oh, wow. These are crazy thin, actually. Crazy, crazy thin. You've got the Oreo goodness right there, but look at that. I'm gonna try and keep that focus right there in the middle, right in between my eyes for you right there. But look at that, that is really, really nice. And let me just put this towel over my computer here. I'm gonna try and lift this up for you. Pop that back, oh, I kind of destroyed it slightly. But it looks like we've got that latte cream action. It's got that coloring in there as well. Let me try the cream by itself real quick, hang on. Instant Oreo classic but a very heavy coffee flavor it's creamy though so i kind of see why they're going with the latte end of it for sure but that is nice that is really really nice so i'm gonna go for a bite as you can see it is super thin these are the latte oreo thins <laughs> nice situation on this and i love the packaging i love that little coffee action right over there so let's give this a shot real quick and see Oh man, that's dangerous. Just enough cookie Oreo along with the cream. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. These are pretty good, guys. All right, I know the focus is gonna be all over the place because it's staying where it is, but these are like a crazy snack. And I gotta say, I'm gonna make this one last for a second. 13 servings per container four cookies. So it looks like we've got, what is it, 52? Yeah, 52 cookies in here. That's not bad. But when you consider the average pack is like 20 to 25, maybe closer to 30, it's really pretty much that, but they just have them and make them a lot thinner. But one serving of this is four cookies and it's 140 calories. Total carb 21, sugar is 12, all the usual good stuff here. So four cookies is 140. So like having two of these is 140. And then when you can see what it is, it's like you're having eight little wafers together and then that cream to go with, but this is good. Mmm, absolutely. You guys are watching this live right now. Let me see some cookie emojis here in the chat. Light up that side and let's give it a go because we are about to go badunk -a dunk right now into some milk, almond milk. 
This is really, really tasty. I am so glad I got this right now because I love my coffee. So here we go. Let's go for that badunka dunk. Take a look. It lights it up beautifully. Really soaks it up nicely. These are really beautifully thin. I mean, if you can kind of take a look at that there, that is really, really good. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Oh, man. These absolutely activate with that milk. Oreo knows what they're doing, boy. They really do. Mmm. Ma'am. Guys, it's been a minute since I've had an Oreo. But I gotta say, this is amazing. I'm loving all the love that you guys are showing here in the chat. We got cookie emojis up the yin-yang right now. This is what, how it all goes down. You already know what it is. And I'm noticing RDR food reviews in the house as well. Shout outs to you, brother. Absolutely. Let's go for another dunk in this here. This is no joke. This latte goodness is bomb. This really, really is bomb. I am really digging this right now. Mmm. This is a treat right now. This is a super treat. So, beautiful cream flavor. The latte flavor is coming through. It's more, it's more like a coffee Oreo. And I'm digging that because I'm a huge fan of coffee. This is absolutely satisfying that itch right now. Along with the sweetness of Oreo, the light thinness that I'm getting from the chocolate wafers, absolutely. And then naturally, when you mix that with your drink of choice, for depending upon what type of milk you like to do. Uh, for me, almond milk, I'm glad this is the thicker variety, just the standard one because it really is simulating that classic Oreo milk and cookies vibe. So I love the flavor of this. I love the overall feeling of everything that it's got going on. It totally nails the flavor of what it is. Thin and cream, thin and crispy, without a doubt. And obviously that latte flavor is coming through. So guys, amazing. Mmm, man. And yes, good late night snack material bus. You already know what it is. So guys, when it comes to this, I can't remember the last time that I've had an Oreo with like a really heavy coffee type of flavor. I mean, really strong. So for me personally, I mean, this everything they're advertising is accurate. Everything that this is, you know, basically the look of it is Oreo for what it is. The fact that it's thins too. I can only imagine if this was in the standard Oreo with the thicker cream, that would be awesome too. But I love the fact that they're going for that, that new age style of just like a thin accent type of cookie but giving you that latte flavor. So if you guys see these in the stores, you should be able to. They're pretty much everywhere, I think. These have been out for a minute. Family size, you know, for sure. I'm glad I got this because I already know the wifey's gonna dig this. She makes white coffee every single day. So this is gonna be something to easily go but dunk a dunk into coffee, I'm sure, um, with extra creaminess there. So overall, the Oreo Thins latte flavored cream, that's a ridiculous 10 out of 10 for me because it satisfies everything they're advertising. The flavor is amazing. I love the idea of the thinness of it as well, just to give you another fast look at that. It's no joke. I mean, there's a lot of cookies in here, 52 plus cookies, 52 of them, and they are very nicely done. Just enough cream to let you know. And the sweetness, it's Oreo, but it's not like grit your teeth type of sweet, if that makes any sense. It really doesn't feel like, you know, my God, I'm gonna really feel ultra bad by having four of these right now. I'm not, believe me. And I will be having more of these later. But I'm digging it right now. Always made with real cocoa. On top of it, a lovely situation. Really just good stuff there. So, question of the day, question of this review, question of the live stream for these. Have you had these Oreo Thins? Not just this particular fa flavor, but maybe any of them. Is there another flavor that I should probably check out? Drop some comments down below. And if you're a fan of coffee, how excited are you to give these a shot if you haven't already? Definitely light up that comment section down below and let me know. And with that... It's Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, the live stream for you, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So wait, stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Wow, good stuff, guys. Good, good stuff. A little bit of a rough beginning. <laughs> RDR bopping off with those 10 marks. You already know what it is. You already know what it is, Robert. Thanks so much, man. You already know. Yeah, these are, these are good. These are really good. The wifey is definitely going to demolish these. I'm, I have a strong feeling. They really taste pretty solid. Really beautiful flavor on that, for sure. So good times. Definitely good times uh, going in on those, for sure. 
Uh, let's see here. I'm going to try and go up a little bit into the chat. If you guys were asking any questions along the lines, just simply cut and paste and ask again so that we will continue on from this point and we'll keep the, uh, the chat moving along. But uh, thanks so much for being here, everybody. I hope that was kind of fun for you to watch. I wanted to do something for you tonight, naturally. Um, the next main review will be out on Sunday. That will be uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I didn't want to rush anything to have it out tomorrow um, because there's really no need to. I mean, you've, there's been a lot of great stuff that's been out. You guys will be able to find on my channel right now. That Cholula Burger, that OG Cholula Burger from Doghouse was, was ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous in such a good way. Um, I can't even tell you. I mean, I did tell you <laughs> because the review is live right now. Um, but yeah, it was it was definitely an amazing situation. So between that, between Dickies um, that they had there as well too with that Max stack, which was pretty awesome. The brisket goodness, you already know. It was just amazing stuff. RDR, jumping off with the $20 super chat, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Fantastic review. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing this breakdown of this Oreo cookie, trying to make it go as long as I could for you. Uh, but good times there. But RDR, thanks so much as always. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All the amazing mods here on the channel, obviously, are pretty awesome people in and of themselves, naturally, because we've all known each other for a very long time online here. Um, but of course, the content creator is busting it out on the daily. RDR doing his thing. Mukbang extraordinaire, food review extraordinaire. He definitely puts it down. You already know. Critical Eats Japan um, as well. Some amazing content. Um, yeah, some, uh, some McDonald's stuff recently, too. I have to take a look at uh, Paul for sure. We have a lot of Kit Kat flavors over here. Yes, but you guys are definitely rocking the Oreo variety game. Yeah, there's a lot of Kit Kat style goodness over in Japan compared to uh, the U.S. Um, I really wish we had some of that. Drew, no cutting cats or stealing nugs. You already know what it is. <laughs> that was hilarious last week. That was hilarious. But I'm glad you guys. I'm seeing some of the comments towards the bottom. Thanks so much. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Just my little take on uh, doing a cookie review for y'all. You already know. Todd Price saw the video yesterday where you ate the Cholula burger. It looked amazing. Yes, it really was. That thing was just explosive in flavor. They really did it right. They really did it right. Um, really, really good stuff. Jamie Hunter says, get the peanut butter. I'll look into that. I really enjoy peanut butter for sure. Babs Toy Box channel. No more tens. <laughs> oh, good times. And RDR with the super chat again. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nehemiah needs a haircut. So do I. If you notice, I'm wearing my hat a lot lately because it's just so much more convenient. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thomas McDonald. It's hot in Riverside, Coachella Valley, where I live. Yes, I can imagine. It's good. We're in summertime right now, practically, man. It's getting in there. You already know. Babs Toy Box 2020 is a bad year. Yes, I would agree. It's not, uh, it's not going well. Let's see how we go on further. You know, we just got to make our way through. Uh, let's see, Armando, I saw that the planes on the news. I'm trying to understand what that is there. Vivian George giving the hand clap, I appreciate you. Salted caramel ones are good too. Okay, Michael, yeah, I saw that on the shelf. There's a, there was a few that they had, but that latte one jumped out at me right away uh, because of the coffee. I mean, I had to just jump on out for the coffee right, right there. It really looked amazing. Uh, let's see here. RDR saying hello to the peeps in the house. Yeah, Doghouse is amazing. Was literally, literally salivating at the Cholula burger. Robert, it was no joke, man. It was no joke. If that thing was a double, it would have gotten destroyed. Or as you would have said, baptized, you know? I mean, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. The flavor, it, the sweetness of that onion jam. It was Cholula onion jam. It had a little bit of sweetness to it. It was that Cholula brown sugar bacon. Um, that really thick type of white American that was on there too. And then the Angus patty, 100% Angus patty that they caramelize the edges and press it down. It, it was ridiculous. I mean, it was just so flavorful. And a dollar of that goes towards the No Kid Hungry campaign um, as well. So really, really awesome. Really, really awesome, I got to say. Uh, let's see. Great review. You said personally three times in one sentence. Did I, Annette? <laughs> You know, sometimes, I got to be honest, I, I don't remember sometimes as I go, sometimes, 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 as I go, sometimes, um, I don't remember what I'm saying sometimes. <laughs> so um, then I watch it back and I'm like, man, I think I said definitely, I said absolutely, I said, well, in my opinion or something where I'm kind of like redoing the same words, you know, yes, it, it kind of gets a little um, redundant sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. 
Jackie, love the background and setup for the live stream. Yes, I hope you guys are liking this one. This is one of the ones that I'm kind of testing out. It's kind of the one that I think I'm going to stick with. The other ones I have are not nearly um, flashy, so to speak. I was going for a little bit of animation. I'm trying to give you guys something a little bit, you know, visually to kind of the aesthetic and make sure that kind of matches my channel somewhat. I wanted to kind of do something different. I may put something around the chat box over here. I may do something with. But uh, once anybody does anything, in terms of uh, super chatting to the channel or any type of subscribing to the channel or whatnot, um, you'll see something that should be popping up like right up over here. And if it's not, uh, let me bring that towards the top just in case because I can change that on the fly. Hang on one second here. There we go. I think that may be the reason why nothing popped up. It's a work in progress, but it gets the job done. And I think, uh, okay, there we go. All right, good. So now that we're back at it, okay. So now, not that I'm saying the super chat to test it, but now I actually have my Streamlab stuff already on top here. So naturally, anything that comes out will be visible. Any subscriber visible, you'll see that popping up right up over here. So that'll that'll go there. So my apologies to RDR, my apologies to Bus. If nothing jumped out there, it looks like that was one of the things I probably should have verified. Um, I am a bad person. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but naturally, it's it's fixed now, so we're good to go. Uh, let's see here. And again, you guys will be in the show notes down below. I appreciate you. If you're catching this on the replay right now, you already know it because it is there. Um, so thank you so much. You guys all know that whatever goes towards the channel, that from you guys goes immediately back into the content creative process. And I have so much fun doing what I do. Um, so it's just a labor of love to just contribute back and give back to you that way. So I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Especially in these times, it's ridiculous. Um, I appreciate you. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Going down the line. Let me see. We'll get caught up over here. 47 in North Minnesota from Lynn Singer. Wow, it's that's chilly. That's chilly, actually. Mountain Dew flavored Doritos. Yes, I looked into trying to get those. Um, overseas only and importing places want too much for something like that. So, you know, if I can try and make that work, I'd love to try it. I'm very curious uh, about it, actually. Uh, Armando, all the graduations were canceled for seniors. Yeah, they're, everything is all virtual. You already know. Flying Hippo 5000, have I ever been as decided to do what more to... Let's see. Hey, Ian, have you ever even been as decided to do or... <laughs> decided to do what more look like? I don't know what that means, <laughs> Flying Hippo. I apologize. Um, ask me that again in a different way, possibly. That's a long... I'm trying to make sense of that. That's making my brain hurt right now. Uh, let's see here. Drew, and you said situation nine times? Are you, you're like ticking off on your paper right now, Drew. That's what you're doing. I already know what it is. Uh, let's see. Babs Toy Box, George Nguyen. It's like Lawrence Welk bubbles on acid. Yeah, I guess it's bubbles, I guess, so to speak. It's kind of, it's kind of fun. Yeah, Steak and Shake is, is having some issues. Yeah, you already know. You already know. RDR Food Reviews, not to change the subject. It's okay to change it, RDR. You guys, this is a stream is for you guys. Uh, let's see here. What do you think that Black Widow is going to be any good? Um, I don't really know, to be honest with that one. I'm not like thinking that we were like really hankering for a Black Widow movie to kind of see the early on stuff. Uh, but naturally, anyone who is supposedly killed off, spoiler alert, you know, for some of the Marvel movies there, they always have the ability to go back and kind of do the prequel stuff and show you all that stuff to keep them going. Um, I don't really know. I mean, it looks okay. It looks okay. I mean, Dave Arbor, David Harbour is in it from Stranger Things, and he's one of my favorite actors right now. So, I think it should be entertaining, if anything. But I think it's it looks a little a little out there in terms of the story. I mean, just a little. These characters always premiere with like very little fanfare, but then they make them so crazy as they, as they've been out for a while. Um, but it doesn't look boring. That's for sure. Um, I believe Taskmaster is the villain in the movie, so that didn't look like the character in the comic, and I'm familiar with the character in the comic, and that co the costume didn't really do justice to, I think, the original comic character. But then again, none of them do, because they can't be the exact comic accurate thing. They just don't. Um, even though there is, in um, the Wolverine, actually, there's actually a deleted scene where you see the actual Wolverine outfit, the real deal, when he opens up the briefcase. It's one of the deleted scenes, and you see... The mask, you see those the outfit there. I wish that we, we could have seen Hugh Jackman in that outfit. That would have been awesome. Uh, but we'll have to see. RDR, I'm definitely holding out hope for it there. In terms of it being a theatrical release, they all say they're being they're coming out later this year. 
let's just see as we go. You know, naturally they need to make money on it, but pushing it a few months is not bad. They already pushed Top Gun. They pushed pretty much everything in the next year. All the filming, everything is pushed. So we'll see. You know, we'll see. If it's on video on demand, I'll probably watch it. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. Mountain Dew Doritos. Yes, Jackie, they, are, they have them. It's overseas right now. It's an overseas thing. I'd love to try them. I'd love to do it for you guys if I can find a way. Uh, Mr. Rogers, Little Caesars has gotten better. Yes, that pepperoni cheeser cheeser was definitely a nice situation on that one there. I first heard that one from my boy Drew, who actually he makes a little cameo in my review. I actually show a little bit of his review in mine um, as well. So that was a beautiful, a lovely situation as well. Um, good stuff there for sure. Let's see, Bliss, keep on keeping on. Definitely appreciate you. Please keep making those videos. I love them. Not to worry. There is new content coming. Trust me, next piece is on Sunday. And of course, you guys have this right now. And if you're catching this on the replay on a Saturday afternoon, 12 p.m. Pacific, you have that much to enjoy for this next 45 to an hour, <laughs> give or take. But thanks, I appreciate you. I'm glad you're enjoying the content for sure. Armando likes Joey's World Tour. Yes, a lot of peeps do. He's a good guy. Uh, Todd Price, let's see here. Ian, I messed up. I don't know why I thought you called it Bad Dogs. <laughs> no. Uh, I checked it out, and there's no doghouse fast food restaurants in Virginia. Man, that's not no bueno. They need to be in a little bit more places for sure. It's awesome. They they make some great stuff. I have a few, uh, Like I think it was like three reviews I've done. I've done the Mother Clucker, the Ringer, and the Turducken, I think it was, during Thanksgiving time. And now I have the, um, the Cholula Burger, um, the OG Cholula Burger in there. Flying Hippo, what do I like to do outside of food reviews? You know what? I like to do gaming. I'm pretty much, you know, exercise. I like to be out when possible, naturally within socially distant measures, of course. Um, but pretty much just the same old average as I think a lot of people love watching movies late night. I mean, I'm all into that, gaming late night when possible. Honestly, with the amount of content that I create and the time that it takes me to do it, I feel like I'm always in front of my laptop doing stuff. So I am always editing, always putting things together. Something is always going on. So. Um, YouTube is definitely a huge chunk of what I do daily, you know, outside of my normal world. Um, and it really is uh, something that I, I just, I have so much fun doing. I'm just passionate about it. Uh, Doritos Gamer Food, Mr. Rogers says. Yeah, I think that's how they're trying to position that, if anything there. Uh, let's see. Drew, can you give a shout out to KRT for me? I peep this out. KRT. Who, what does KRT stand for? But I'll still simply say it for you. KRT. Let's peep this out. Shout outs to KRT. Uh, let's see here. Batman is the best hero, is the best heroes ever. Yes, I agree, he's my all time favorite. You already know, there's like peppered Batman goodness here. There's Batman there. Um, I have all kinds of stuff. Batman action figures up on top. There's all kinds of stuff here. Freddy Foodie King, what it do? The Nug Stealer himself is back in effect. I hope he didn't bust a move on BK recently. <laughs> That's all I have to say, Freddy. That's all I have to say. Oh, good times, which as you guys probably know, I posted it in my feed earlier this week. I got wind of the uh, spicy nuggets coming back again. Um, no need to re-review -re those because they're pretty awesome and I had a good time doing them. So I just posted my review uh, when I did that there. So definitely take a look at that. You can fade eight for a buck. I mean, there is just a beautiful thing in that, you know, also as well. You know what? I may actually do that tomorrow. I may actually go get an eight piece for myself for a dollar. I was just telling my wife, I've had actually a feeling of going for some type of like chicken tenders. It's been a minute since I've had like chicken tenders. When is Popeyes coming out with something other than the chicken sandwich, which they keep pushing and like the shrimp stuff. I think we're so past that right now. Uh, I really wish they would get back on their monthly kick of having monthly promos. I think they're really falling on their graces with the sandwich already. But great to see you guys on here. Great to have Freddie Food King in effect. You already know what it is. Freddie is a really, really fun guy out down in Florida doing his thing over there um, but watch him watch him he steals nugs that's all i gotta say watch him i see you i see you freddie <laughs> by the way freddie haven't heard anything back about that situation yet uh so i have uh some uh, an email out to them but they haven't replied so you know i guess no news is not necessarily good news but we will we'll, uh we'll see what we'll what we'll see uh, Vivian George, Hugh Jackman looks like he's perfect for Wild West movies. Yes, as they get older and grislier looking, they definitely fit the mode. That is for sure. Uh, favorite Marvel villain, Doom. Agreed. Agreed. That and Venom. The real when he's really bad. Before he became a good guy, Venom was pretty awesome. But yes, Doctor Doom for the classics uh, by far. That and the Hobgoblin for me. Green Goblin never really did it. Hobgoblin just looked amazing. He looked like a Halloween nightmare um, in effect with that whole brown look, you know, and everything with the hood. 
Uh, let's see. Hugh Jackman would have made a better Jonah Hex from Jason Roy Kirk. That's actually true. But then again, any other type of movie made using the Jonah Hex character would have been a better Jonah Hex because that movie was garbage. Um, Flying Hippo 5000. Do you have any children? No. No, I do not. Uh, Freddy's moved on to chicken fry smuggling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> You gotta watch Freddy. Don't let that don't let that charm fool you there. He's like a you know, a wolf in sheep's clothing when it comes to certain things. I already know. David P, he steals nugs, he cuts cats. <laughs> Actually, it's the one-two punch between Drew's food reviews and Freddy. Those two together, that's seriously uh that that's a, like the new comic uh the new comic strip right there, the new comic hero. I don't know who's the villain, who's the hero. Oh, you've got the cat cutter and the nug stealer <laughs> together. Oh, it's craziness right in there between those two. Uh, let's see, David, but their chicken sandwich is left. Yes, Popeye's chicken sandwich is pretty bomb. They are. Todd Price, did I, uh, I did try the BK cheese poppers. Yes, those cheddar cheese uh, uh, jalapeno popper thingies were good. The cheddar bites uh, were pretty amazing. Definitely tasty stuff there. BK, when they come out with their snacks, um, I got to admit, pretty good. Definitely pretty good for sure. I am absolutely a fan of what they've got going on there right now. Chick-fil-A sandwich. Let's see. Sorry about that. Chick-fil-A. Popeye's is better than Chick-fil-A. Nothing wrong with that. I agree. I enjoy it. Chick-fil-A is a different type of flavor, but I like Chick-fil-A. But naturally, for what you're paying for it and what you get, is it's like small. <laughs> but it's okay. It's definitely good. Uh, Max W. Favorite band and artist. Wow. You know what? I've always been on the Queensryche kick. I like a lot, a lot of hard rock, a lot of classic 80s, 90s hard rock type of stuff. So... Uh, personally for me, Queen's Rock, I usually come back to whenever I'm doing the wrap-up of my editing, when I'm doing the admin portion, I'm doing subtitles, I'm doing translating in different languages, making thumbnails. I usually have on Queen's Rock in my headphones and my laptop here while I'm doing my thing. Favorite film? Come on now. I think most of you guys should know what that is. Besides Aliens, <laughs> Halloween, Terminator 1 classic but it's it's hard to pick just one because there are always so many of them but aliens is is up there because naturally stay frosty comes from that movie um so that may be a little bit of a cue for you but great to see everybody on here right now we're having a blast at least i am i hope you guys are as well if you guys are having fun and you're enjoying what you're seeing right now give me a thumbs up here in the chat um i feel like i talk and i talk and i talk and i hopefully i'm not blowing your ear out um very little downtime in between because i have just so much fun enjoying interacting with you guys and reading everything that you've got going over here. I can't wait to watch the stream back to catch what you guys were saying during the review earlier. Um, so I'm excited about that. Carl Broussard, good stuff, good blooper, good takes. <laughs> you guys get to see it raw as it begins. And typically when I do my own videos, when I'm recording my reviews, um, I tend to mess up like everybody else. I mean, it just, it happens. So, you know, where nobody's perfect, but naturally editing is an amazing thing when you put it together that way. Um, but good times, but I'm glad I appreciate all the love and thank you so much for the support for uh, the channel here guys Just you being on here and viewing the content even if you don't hit the thumbs up down below on the content that you watch It's okay because I appreciate you viewing it and hopefully it brings you some form of joy um, And you learn something from it um, as well Very important for that uh, Let's see here going down E Ricard sounds like a good cop bad cop situation. Yes between Freddy Foodie King and Drew that's a collab that I really want to see live. <laughs> I want to see that live. I'm putting that out there. I want to see that live. Uh, let's see. Flying Hippo, if you can only eat one fast food restaurant for the rest of your life, what would it be if price didn't matter? Well, that's very easy because I say it all the time. In and out. Double, double animal style, no tomato. I'm probably going to be in that right after this. I got to be honest. I'm probably going to go with the wifey. Uh, let's see here. Freddy Smuggles Ranch 2? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, you're crazy. Drew is crazy. You got to watch Drew also. You got to watch him also. Uh, let's see. Armando, haven't played any of the Mario Kart, any of the Nintendo stuff on my smartphone at all. It's usually just the console goodies. I'm kind of a purist that way. Uh, let's see. Better watch out. Very funny, Drew. I had a lot of fun doing my voiceover for that movie. You already know. Uh, let's see. They were free. Come on. <laughs> I'm getting caught up in the chat here. Freddie's acknowledging. Yes, you already know. Betty makes homemade ranch poppy. I don't have to steal it. <laughs> oh, you guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. Annette Cervantes, having a great time. Thanks for the stream. Keep in mind that I'm, I'm trying, Annette. Seriously, a shout outs, shout outs to you right now. 
Let me see if you guys can. Let me see if you guys have that Emojipedia up in your chat over here right now because we already know that Annette's pups are going in for surgery this coming Tuesday. Let me see. It's got to be specific. I want to see a pup and a heart in that order. A pup and a heart. Doesn't matter what type of heart. Let's just see a pup and a heart. I want to see a litter of pups, literally, in the chat if you guys can. I really want to see that. Let's send that positivity out there because I know that she is going through. She's got her mind preoccupied and I know it's like trying to get through the days to get to that point to get past it. Let's see if we can give as much support to Annette as possible to let her know that her pups are going to be fine. The dog's going to be okay and everything is going to be good. So if you guys can put a dog and a heart right after, that would be an amazing show of support for her um, as well. Uh, Queens, we are the champions. Okay, favorite band. Okay, very cool. That's classic right there. Babs Toy Box had the best day. Awesome. That is awesome. I'm starting to see the pups come through. I'm starting to see the pups come through right now. Annette, that is all for you. That is all for you right there. We have amazing people here in the chat. You already know. Amazing people here in the chat. Amazing content creators as well. KBD Productions in effect. Ken, thanks so much for jumping on, man. I just saw you just crossed over the 500K mark, man. Well deserved. Well deserved. Shout outs to you. That is awesome. That is awesome. Ken, as you know, has been putting it down for years um, and really just doing the do, traveling around, doing what he can and what he does. He's really been knocking it out of the park there. So shout outs to Ken Dom at KBD Productions TV in effect. Um, you already know what it is. Huge, huge love for you, man. Definitely. And very happy birthday as well. I know I've already said it as well and belated and all that good stuff. Um, but you already know. It's all about creating that quality content that satisfies your base, brings in new viewers, and gives people something to check out. And being a positive force in the community as well is a huge, huge thing. What you see with Ken is what you get. What you see with Freddy Foodie King, what you see with Drew's Food Reviews, Critical East Japan's in the house as well, Robert over at RDR Reviews, all the other amazing content creators that really do the do, really pump it out. And, and they, I, I have so much admiration and love for what you guys do. Um, you guys definitely keep me doing what I'm doing as well and just the passion to do it. So it's really awesome to see that. But KBD Productions, straight out, um, that's one of my OGs right there for uh, back in the day and just a huge, huge amount of love and respect uh, for Ken for sure. He's just a, he's a good dude. He's definitely a good dude. Uh, but great to have you on here, Ken. Thanks so much for jumping on for a bit here as we're winding it down to about 10 minutes left here right now. Uh, let's see. It is jumping over here. Yeah, it's really, really great stuff. Really, really great stuff there. Ken, I'm glad you love my stuff, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Trying to improve as we go. I'm always trying to improve and keep things moving and keep things quality-wise moving along as we can. We've all been doing this for so long now. I feel like I'm, I'm long in the tooth <laughs> to do this. Uh, what is this? E-Rock from Vegas. What to do? Thanks so much for jumping on. That's awesome. I appreciate you being here right now. Brad Tyrant, are you ever going to stop saying things like lovely situation, cheesy goodness, stay frosty, etc.? No. <laughs> One way, shape, or form, Brad, it's gonna it's gonna get it find its way in there. It is what it is. But I appreciate you asking. Um, but yes, everyone congratulating Ken. That's awesome. It's a huge accomplishment. It's a huge, a huge accomplishment. Guys, just getting anything over one subscriber, believe it or not, I think is an accomplishment. But when you hit a hundred, a thousand. You know, when you get somebody who is invested in you, you know, outside of your family in the beginning and your friends just to click that subscribe button and you get people that start following you and you start building and you start growing. You know, when you take a look at just just to use Ken as an example, when you look at the content Ken has been doing since the very beginning up until now, given his audio video background, um, it just is really no no comparison in terms of just the continued improvement of what's there and what was already there in the beginning was awesome so you know when i saw ken the very first time it was one of the ones that got me into doing this after seeing a couple of other things you know it was really like wow that is just really awesome what you're capable what you could do on the platform as you begin to kind of elevate and and move it forward there while you're you know making it your own that's the biggest thing is to make what you do your own but of course the inspiration of what you have um, is there so to see that you know it's really uh, I'm not surprised you know naturally but seeing that you know the growth ex being as explosive as it is and as things continue to go um, this is some quality content on that channel I mean I, I can't even tell you I mean I, I don't have to tell you you know <laughs> you know already so I know Ken I'm talking about you to death right now but it's great to see you on here I know that we're all going through some crazy stuff right now but it's always great to see um, awesome peeps from the community that kind of get together and say hello and jump on over. So I appreciate you. So thanks so much for jumping on. And again, congrats to you. 
Uh, let's see here. Going down. My chat is jumping forward here. Let's see. I love all the uh, dog emojis with the hearts and everything like that. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's that's love. That's love. That's what it's all about, guys. That's what it's all about. Uh, Ed Keaton got to jump off early. Great stream as always. Have a great rest of the weekend. Stay frosty, my friend. Have a great weekend, everyone. Be well and stay safe. I appreciate you, Ed. Thank you so much for jumping on here right now. I appreciate you for jumping on here right now. And Ken, jumping off with the Super Chat donation as well. Ken, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, are, of course, are going to be in the show notes down below um, for the contributions to the channel as well. Looks like we have a couple of them jumping over here from KBD Productions. Ken's jumping out there as well. Ken, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. And as you guys are seeing right over here, you guys are activating down below. We have uh, KBD Productions TV, RDR Food Reviews, Bus in effect as well. It is uh, it is on you know tonight with all of you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, as uh, you guys, you guys literally warm my heart every time you show me the admiration um, that you're feeling. You know, it really makes me feel like I, I'm very humbled by, you know, to receive that. I'm not really good at accepting things, but it's just what I do. It's it's hard to, you know, I kind of like to give, you know, like that to you guys as opposed to uh, receive. So it's harder for me that way. But thank you, thank you, I appreciate you. Uh, let's see here. Chat is jumping down. Let's see. Lesser, those are his signature catchphrases. We love it. Yes, if you got a shirt down below that says lovely situation, you already know. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Stay frosty, all those. You already know what it is. Uh, but it already is in there. Man, I appreciate it. There it is. It's coming through right now. Super chat donation from KBD Productions TV. Ken, thank you again. I appreciate you. I see you jumping into the chat there with it on my side. Vivian George, can you yourself build and expand upon your channel without anyone? Let's see. Vivian George, you can yourself build and expand upon your channel without anyone's help. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. The goal is to always improve upon what you do. Um, I'm not one to try and, uh, you know, I know there's a, obviously doing all kinds of things to kind of grow your channel. There are many strategies for doing that naturally there. But I know that putting in the work, putting in the time, making changes here and there, and just really kind of expanding it out, eventually things will continue to go the way that they're going. And as we're going right now, we're really marching pretty quickly towards that 30,000 mark, which is crazy, you know, considering how long um, I've been doing this as well, which is, you know, for most people, that may seem like a long time just to have 30,000 subscribers over six years. But at the same time, every single one is earned. I mean, like I said, I'm trying to do what I can to the best of my ability. And if it resonates with people and it becomes what it becomes, I'm so happy about that because that's all I, I love doing. I love creating. I just, I love creating. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Going down the line. My the chat is jumping up. Hang on. Hold on. Babs, you are welcome. Very cool. Okay, I'm caught up to where Vivian George is there. You can my chat is moving over here. Why is my chat moving quicker on my side than what you're seeing on the screen here right now? It is what it is. Critical East Japan, today's stream is a lovely situation. Thank you. I appreciate you, Paul. You already know. <laughs> Uh, Freddy Foodie King, Ken dropping the double deuce. Again, shout out to you, Ken. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Hmm. Bus, you're over at the hat right now? Gonna get the chili cheese fries with pastrami. Yes, do it. Do it. You know what you need to do if you can. Take a picture of that and send it to me on social media, either Twitter or on Instagram. Direct message me on that one. Because if you that that's a bomb situation. I had a blast doing that back then. It was really, really good. Uh, one of my earlier reviews, so it's a little cringier to watch, uh, but it was delicious visuals, you know, back then. Even for the camera that I was using, you already know. Uh, let's see here. Candace Cherry, what it do? Thanks so much for jumping on. I'm gonna start making 7-Eleven reviews. Lester's gonna be doing 7-Eleven reviews. Nice. Astro Rock. What up? Hope you have an awesome weekend. Thank you. I hope you do as well as we wound it, we round it out right now. It's uh, coming around the bend with about four minutes left. So jealous you're eating in and out, of course, with no tomato. Yes, you got to do it. Got to do it. There's no place to eat there, so we got to bring it back. Uh, but we're going to go for a fast walk and uh, and come on back. Yes, it's a critical situation now that Paul is here. Drew, you already know. <laughs> AG 2022, how are you doing with quarantine? You know, it's it's really an interesting situation. There are times where I feel very restless at night, um, but naturally when I get out, when I do my cardio, when I do my stuff to stay fit, it's it's easier. But at the same time, 
um, uncomfortable because you know what you know is kind of out there and you're just not sure about it but you know it, it's getting a little bit easier as we go because it's been in for so long now it feels like it's only been a couple of months really um, but it's really you know kind of what it is you know so but I'm doing okay definitely doing okay Lester says life is a lovely situation you already know peep this out is 10 out of 10 from Babs I appreciate you thank you Candace is loving the background I'm glad you guys are digging my new format here for the live stream I'm definitely having a blast. I had a lot of fun making this, um, putting it together for you guys. Um, I really wanted to do something different, like I said, to have something that matches the aesthetic of my channel as well as uh, give you something visually fun to look at um, at the same time as well. And I think it has pretty much all the information. I may add a couple little tiny touches here and there, but this is pretty much how I think it'll stay uh, for sure. Uh, yes, Annette says from Bus Driver, yes, he's, go he's at the hat right now. The hat is awesome. The hat is awesome. It really is. I gotta. I gotta be honest. It's awesome. Jumping on down, Jackie Hero. Hey, Ren to Randy Molina. E Ricard. Thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you right now. As we're rounding it out, we got three minutes left. I'm here at the very bottom of the chat. Babs Toy Box Channel. My mom had In and Out in Medford and Oregon. Very nice. You already know. Uh, let's see. Ag, are you gonna be doing dining reviews as places reopen? You know what? I don't know if I'm gonna feel comfortable doing that for a bit. Uh, unless something changes drastically or I, I don't know to be honest but we'll see you know we'll definitely see uh, let's see here as you guys are rounding it out as well saying good night to peeps over here Scott good night to Ken glad to see you Ken I appreciate you jumping on everybody is saying hello and good night <laughs> great to see Guys, this was a lot of fun tonight. We took a look at the Oreo Thins Latte Flavored Cream. This was a lot of fun to check out. I don't know why I waited so long to do this. I'm glad that I did it. The coffee flavor was amazing. The creaminess was amazing on it in terms of just the overall, just the everything that worked together with the cocoa, the chocolate, the coffee, the cream. This was really, really good. And $4.49 for like 52 cookies. Granted that they're thin, so if you double them up, considering it's a regular Oreo, um, it's about average in terms of price, but really, really high-end flavor from a standard type of Oreo cookie done very well. So I had a lot of fun putting that together. It was really, really good. So with that said, let's see here as we round it out. We've got another couple of minutes left here right now. Let's see what we the last couple of uh, items on here. Great streaming and have a great weekend. Can't wait for next Friday's food review. Annette, and sending again, sending you love and everything for your pups going into surgery. All of those emojis earlier, all the hearts, the pups, that's all for you. Thinking uh, nothing but good thoughts for you guys for sure. Bus, enjoy in and out. Time to devour. Good night, good night, definitely. I can't wait. Uh, let me know how it was. Definitely let me know how it was, Bus, at the very least. Let me know. But well, glad to see you guys on here right now. It is great to be on here. I'm glad you guys enjoyed what you saw tonight. And let me jump on over to my chat streaming software before I end it out. There we go. Lester says Oreo Thins are dope. You already know. It is good stuff. Coffee Oreos. What? Yes, Freddy. Look for these, my friend. They're latte flavored. Latte flavored Oreos Thins. They are really, really awesome. So, guys, thank you so much for jumping on. I think it is time to get some air right now. It is very warm in my office. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of sweating already like crazy. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the stream tonight naturally. And if you're catching this on the replay, thank you so much for making it this far into the replay. All of you guys who have contributed to the channel, of course, you're going to find your names down below in the show notes in the description um, as official sponsors for the channel. So I appreciate you greatly here right now. Thank you so much. I'm going to try and stay in the chat as much as I can after I hit the end streaming here because the chat is active for a bit so try and watch for a few comments if you guys want to hang around uh, last couple of things on here vivian george best food reviewer your unique style and presentation and your energetic talks are amazing vivian thank you i appreciate you i appreciate being part of a really fun community doing what they do here on the channel and all the amazing content creators that you've heard me talk about this hour and who've made appearances here as well you already know my heart lies specifically um, with being with you guys naturally you guys are really really awesome and uh, we really make you know the platform tick with the content that we do and it's important for us to continue to do that reach out you know live stream with your audience have as much fun as possible and, uh, and really just you know spread that positivity you know of anything there so I appreciate you guys with that let me jump on over here we are good to go you guys will find this replay available tomorrow 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in effect for you so thanks so much for uh, helping me test out my new, my new live stream format um, as well this will be uh, what we'll be using going forward for a while and uh, we will just uh, go from there so with that 
I've said with that so many times here right now. You already know what it is. It's Ian K officially closing out the live stream here on, what is it, the 15th? Let me see, what, what's the actual date today here? The 15th, yeah, it is the 15th, which is crazy to, is it the 15th? I'm losing my mind. Yes, it's May 15th. All right, so with that, this is Ian K closing out the live stream for May 15th here on Peep This Out Reviews. And like I always say, I've got quality content every single week here. I've got, <laughs> oh man, as we mess up at the end, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Man, kind of a rough one tonight, <laughs> but fun at the same time. So guys, have an amazing weekend. Again, the next piece of official content after the stream on Saturday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard will be on Sunday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard. You're gonna wanna see it. And uh, let me just say, it is gonna be fun. That's all I have to say, because it is gonna be really, really fun for you guys to check out. I'm having a lot of fun already, just putting the finishing touches on it and uh, it's gonna be a good time. So like I said, I don't wanna rush it, I don't wanna rush it for tomorrow. Sunday, you guys, it's typically a slow news day anyway for Sunday, so you guys will have something fun to look forward to on Sunday right now. So guys, have a great weekend. I will definitely talk to you in the next stream, and uh, by all means, once again, stay frosty. We'll see ya.